Welcome back. Let's talk about a super common question today, which is, can I improve my eyesight even though I have a lot of screen time? And this is not a very advanced topic, but it's definitely for those who already understand the basic idea of most of your distance vision problems are because you're sitting in front of screens all day. You cannot improve your distance vision without using your distance vision. Despite some of the crazy things that are going on on the internet where people are talking about improving the distance vision by using close-up stimulus, that doesn't really work very effectively for most people. It works for some people, but not for most people. You need distance vision to improve your distance vision. What causes a lot of the limitations of improving your eyesight is ciliary muscle spasm. Your focusing muscle spasm that comes from staring at one single close-up point for hours and hours a day. We've got various strategies to mitigate some of that, like absolutely you wanna use differential glasses. If you're not familiar with that, do some more video watching and reading. Basically, you're reducing your doctors for close-up, you're challenging yourself at, for the blur horizon at your screen distance. All of these things help to some degree to reduce your ciliary muscle spasm, which you can't have any of if you wanna be improving your eyesight. So what happens is a person spends eight hours a day in front of screens, and then they think maybe they can't improve their eyesight. That's not necessarily the case. And just for perspective, I was doing a lot of my own vision improvement while doing day trading. I spent a lot of time in front of screens, a lot, too much time in front of screens actually. The problem isn't the screen time, right? The problem is what are you doing besides the screen time? And to give you an example, in my case, it took me a while to figure this out. It's gonna take you maybe a little while to figure out how much distance vision time do you need every day to counteract not only the screen time, but to give you enough stimulus for your distance vision progress. And for me, that's about three hours realistically. And the amazing thing is sometimes when I say three hours to people, they're like, how can I find three hours of distance vision? And if you think about that statement, that's just shocking that in a 24 hour period of, your, of the whole day, well, including sleep, I guess, but in 24 hours, you can't find three hours to not be staring at a screen. Like really? Is that where we're at? You know what I mean? Like to take a step back and realize the magnitude of our screen dependence and screen addiction. Because yeah, sure, you gotta work. So what? You have to work, we're not throwing that under the bus on any level. Whatever work time is, is work time. Forget it, right? Like when you're not looking at Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or whatever other recreational internet stuff, that doesn't count. Forget that, right? When you subtract that from your total awake time, how many hours are left is really the big question. It's more than three right? It's way more than three. So if when I said three hours, your instinctive reaction was like, whoa, three hours, you have a serious screen addiction problem. And or to put this in another way, and somehow sometimes I discuss this in videos in, in other ways is you're lacking a life. You're missing things to do that are real life. You know what I mean? And not to get too philosophical here, but we've built a prison of our own minds around screens, right? Like if it's difficult for you to find some way to entertain yourself for three hours a day that involves not screens and ideally some distance vision time, then you don't have a life. I mean, that's, it's, I haven't, I am as guilty as the next person, right? Like it's way easier to fire up YouTube and see some exciting stuff than leave your house and find exciting stuff. Sure, right? Like screens have given us that, but that's why we're dependent on these things and they're not a real life. Like if you die tomorrow, how much life have you lived versus just stared at some screen? Okay, this is turning into a rant. The point being, you need a certain amount of distance vision time every day to improve your eyesight. It's fine if you're a programmer, it's fine if you're a designer, it's fine if you're a trader, it's fine whatever your normal, a normal nine to five job type of screen requirement is, that's a lot of screen time. But before you go to work, you shouldn't spend your morning in front of a screen. During your lunch break, you shouldn't spend your time in front of a screen. After work, you shouldn't spend your time in front of a screen. You shouldn't. Other videos we talk about this more, this is not 
you can't break this kind of massive addiction that not only you have, but all the people around you in a day or a week or a month even. But you want to start somewhere, right? Like reclaim an hour. And if that sounds too scary, reclaim half an hour. Realize this is just like you could be a crackhead, except your crack addiction is a screen. Start reclaiming small amounts of time, working your way to an hour of consolidated distance vision time that's not staring at an eye chart, that's something real where you not look at any screens to break up that hour. It's something we discussed in Back to 2020. It's really important to get that continuous time. Like if you get 20 minutes and then you look at your screen for a minute and you get 20 minutes again and you look at your screen for a minute, it doesn't count. You need continuous non-screen time. That's your big goal is okay. So you spend eight hours a day in front of a screen. How much continuous non-screen time can you build up to? And if you start with 20 minutes, you start with 20 minutes. Congratulate yourself. How many days in a row can you get 20 minutes? And then can you get to 30, right? Like 30 minutes is more awesome than 20. And it sounds, many of us were born in a time before screens were what they are today. And it sounds kind of ridiculous, but the current generation, there are people that have never really been without screens. So for them, screens are normal. You have to get away from screens. And ideally, for me, three hours is enough. I can keep my 2020 eyesight without a bunch of ciliary spasm if I get three hours of some format of absolutely not close up time. And I try to do that without any screen time in those three hours and I still struggle with that. I can get an hour for sure. Three, I have to not bring my phone <clears throat> pretty much. The long ramble, and this is what you get for free videos, is yes, you can improve your eyesight with a lot of screen time, no, you can't do it if you're a screen addict outside of your work. You gotta slowly over time break that screen addiction. And that's it. Proving your eyesight is easy once you stop being a little addict. <sighs> if you like this video, whatever, just do whatever. And subscribe to the channel if you want, don't care. I'll see you in the next one. Meow, 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 meow.